Hello again, I'm here to show you how to configure a standard access list on the given topology here. So as you can see, we have a 192.168.11.0 network for a switch 0, a 192.168.11.0 network for a switch 1, a 192.168.12.0 network for switch um, 2, 192.168.13.0 network for um, switch 3 and 192.168.14.0 slash 13 network for uh, the interconnection of this two router, the network that will connect the two routers. So all of the network below are from switch 0 to switch 3 are actually slash 24 okay configuring standard access list actually depends on what kind of problem do we want to address so in in our case here let's just create simple problems like i want to do this and do that so let's start with a very simple problem Let's do it like this. What if I want to block 192.168.11.0 network from entering 192.168.12.0 network? So how are we going to do that? But before we apply the access list, I want to show you that the network is actually converged. So I can ping, uh, I can send uh, ICMP packets from uh, 10.0 network to 13.0, 10.0 to 12.0, same is true with 11.0 to 12, and 11.0 to 13.0 network. Uh, the neighboring networks are actually converged, okay, there. So all of the ICMP packets was sent successfully. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Actually, if we're going to look at the problem, it's something like this. We want to block this network from entering this network. So the flow of traffic that we are trying to look at is from 11.0, going to the switch, going to the router, and going to switch number two. So if that is the case, then the flow of traffic, remember that the flow of traffic is like this. Now, we want to create an access list here because this is the nearest to the destination. So this is the source, and this is the destination. And we, we already mentioned before that Configuring standard access list should always be on the router nearest to the destination. In that case, we need to do the configuration in this router, okay, the route, uh, router 1. Okay, so let's do it. Let's click on this router. So first, we, we want to configure or create an access list so if i issue the command access list so there and then question mark again it's from 1 to 99 for the standard access list so i'll use one and then um, question mark again so i'll firm uh, i'll deny i'll deny what so address too much so 192.168.11.0 then the wildcard mass, if it's slash 24, it's 0 .0 0 0.0.0.255. 0 .0 okay, so 0 .0 0 0.0.0.255. Okay, and then question mark, then it's done. So do show access list. Then we have an access list with this entry that denies 192.168.11 network from entering. 
specific interface that we're going to configure later. So after that, take note uh, as a disclaimer, the configuration is not done yet because I want to show you something later. Okay, later. So after creating creating a group, an access list, then the next thing we need to do is to go to the interface where we're going to configure the uh, access list or where we're going to activate the access list. In our case, there is actually a possibility that we look for the outbound here, okay, and the inbound before the router and after the router. But take note that if we configure the access list on zero, serial 0, 1, 0, which is here, all the networks here will be active, uh, up, affected by the access list. Okay? But our problem states that we only need to block 11.0 network from entering the, this network, not including this network. So in our case, to be more exact, we need to implement the access list on the G000 network instead of the serial 010, okay? So in that case, only this network will be affected, okay? So let's go back. So let's interface G000, then IP access, okay, question mark, uh, access group, uh, one, and then question mark, it will be outbound. So. IP access group is the command to call a specific group. It, in our case, it's this one here, up here. The access list one. It's group in one. Although it's although the, the entry there is just one, it's still under the group one. So IP access group, as access group one. And then the traffic is outbound because it's going out of the router to this G0, through this G000 um, interface. Okay, so then after that, we just need to enter, and that's it. So let's try to send an ICMP packet, and take note, it's already failing, but in here, it's successful. Okay, so that's how easy to do it but remember i told you a while ago that's not yet done why because i want you to see something else in our uh, problem a while ago we are expecting that only this network is blocked from entering this network not including this network but if you're going to check this out ping going there is failed why because there is a problem in our configuration. If you're going to look at um, the access list, it's denying 192.168.11.0 network. But the question is, why is 10.0 network also denied from entering the 192.168.12 network? The, the thing is, Whenever you activate the access list, there is what they call the implicit deny. So that means our, our access list is actually incomplete. Why? Because once activated, it denies everything okay, because of the implicit deny. So all you need to do to solve that is add another entry, which is... Okay, IP access list one, the same group. Okay, in the same group, you you add another entry, IP access list one, with which will permit 
any. If you're going to um, press question mark or type question mark, it will ask you an IP address and your host. So let's just, for now, let's just use uh, any source because the problem is just focus on denying a specific network. So any other network should be able to pass. So permit any. Okay. In this, after that, then it's done. Okay, so ping this network, going to that network should be successful. Okay, so that is the standard access list. Of course, there are a lot of other scenarios that you may want to look at and combine to be able to deal with more complex problem. But for now, it's just like that. It's very simple. Um, that's how you create or configure a standard access list. Okay. So I think that's it. So thank you very much.